Now that we have joined up to Glogster, I'm going to show you how to make a really quick glog and how to embed it into our classroom blog. And we're going to push create a new glog. Glogster always opens up on a template that you can edit. A glog is quite long, so you will have to scroll down. You have to kind of think of glogs kind of like scrapbooks. So all of these elements are basically stuck on top of a Glogster page. So you can move elements around or if you don't want an element you just push delete this pink rubbish bin and it will disappear. So we'll get rid of all of the pre-prepared stuff because we want this Glog to be totally our own. Now I've gotten rid of all of the pre-prepared elements, we're going to name our glog up here. The first glog by me. Okay, so we're going to change the glog wall and the page wall just to make it more appealing to me. We'll shift up our little tool. This is the tool for playing around with the background colours and we're going to pick this lovely stripy number and we just push use it. This is the preview of what you're going to use. So there is our stripes on the back, page wall into, I oh, quite like these little people, and we'll just push use it. So there we go, got our colours alright to start with. The next step would be to add some text. So you can see on a little magnet tool, we'll just shift it away a little bit, it just floats. If you are down here and you want to use your magnet tool, you just shift over to the left and click on the bar and the magnet tool will come and follow you. You don't have to search up and down your blog. So we'll click on the magnet tool again and we'll pull up text. And this is our text editor and in here there are all the different kinds of texts or samples you can put on. If you wanted to you could use the screen splotch to add some writing in or you can choose on a different theme. So we could go to retro. Now I quite like the star one here so I'm going to click on the star, yellow stars and I just push use it and as you can see it falls down behind the tool. So we're finished with this text tool. We'll move our little element up in the corner and we want to edit it to change the text. So we'll call this Welcome to my first blog. Oops. Now here you can also add a link but right now we just want to change the writing so it's a bit more interesting and to do that we click on this AB button here and we're going to choose this font here. We can make it bigger by clicking up. We can center it. We might make it really big so it fills up the entire log. Here we go. And if we want to, we can change the color of the font. When you're finished fiddling with it, you just push apply. Okay, we're happy with how that looks. And we push OK. And there we have it. All done. We can make this bigger or smaller. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is to add an image. Our image that we're going to use is this Cookie Monster one. So we just find the image button, click on it. We have a few options. We can upload an image, we can link an image, and we can grab an image. And as you can see, I've actually already linked that image in. And I'll just show you how I did it. You just push link, click over to the tab with the photo you want to use, hold down control, click on the photo, copy the image, and then paste it into the bar here. When you click add your files, It'll think for a bit and it'll add the image behind. So now I have two Cookie Monster images, but that's alright. Now we never put anything in without having a nice little frame around it, as any scrapbooker will tell you. 
So we're going to push add a frame and we're going to pick this lovely yellow number here. And you can see the preview here shows you what it will look like and we push use it. So it's popped down behind. We'll finish with this box, we'll shut it. We'll move our cookie monster image over. I might turn him around slightly. And I actually want the stars to be in front of the picture. So I need to send this picture backwards. And you do this by pushing this button here. You can see a little menu pops up. Or you can bring it forward by pushing this button here. But we want it backwards. Okay, that's done. Have a little look. That looks fine. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to add some video down here. So we'll go over and call our magnet tool down. We'll push video. And here we have the same options as you would in the images button. And we're actually going to use this video here which I've uploaded beforehand. And I did that through linking to YouTube. So you'd push link. Click over to YouTube, grab the URL, copy it into here, and then you just push Add Files. But we've already done that, so we're going to pick this one, and there's a preview of it. And we want to add a frame around it again, and in videos it's called a player. Oh, love the green. That should look fantastic, and we'll push Use It. And there it is, it's popped on. We'll move it down so it's got plenty of room. Make it nice and big. Pop it in the middle. Now, as any scrapbooker will tell you, this is not finished until we get a little bit of bling on there. So we'll call up our magnet tool and we're going to add some graphics. And in here, you can see all the things that you can add. I'm going to add some flowers. So, lots of these ones that have the word animated actually move. So, we'll choose this one. See how it moves. And we'll push use it. We'll choose another one. We're all about the ones that move. We'll push use that one. And a nice pink one. Okay, so we have used three pictures or graphics we'll close it and we can move them around well use four so we'll move this one over here and make it nice and big this one can go on top of the green so it stands out and these little flowers can get nice and big over here so as you can see, there's hours and hours of fun and time to be wasted on Glogster. Okay, so that's all done. We need to get the code to embed it now. So we push Save and Publish. We need to give it a category, and it's just for fun. We want to make it private. Make everything private in Glogster. And push Save. Okay, so our blog has been published and we have an embed code sitting right here ready for you to copy. We go over to our blog and we're going to log into site admin. We will add a new post. We, talk, we shall call it Glogster is fun. And then we just paste the HTML code right in here in the HTML option. And then when we push publish and visit our site, we will see a funky little Glogster glog smack bang in the middle of our site.